Okay, so let's <laughs> talk about how Zion started. Okay. You know, tell me the story of, you know, when was the first, when was the first thought you had of going into business on your own? I, I think uh, I thought about going into business for a lot of years, uh, but just could never pull the trigger to do something, you know, and I thought, gee, I'd love to be my own boss someday. And and that was, uh, I was working for a machine shop at the time, and it was really being paid well. It was a good company. Everything was good. So it was a tough decision to go out on my own. Uh, I had thought about induction heat treating. Uh, I should go back there. Uh, yeah. uh, I saw, I used to purchase that service, and, and, and I couldn't find anybody in the Cleveland area to, to run any high production work. So I, I, a friend of mine was was running a heat treat business, and uh, he had uh, he was running some a little bit of induction equipment, very little, but uh, he had a fixture there that he that somebody made for him. I don't know, it cost like two thousand dollars, and I thought, golly, that costs about a hundred dollars to make that fixture. You know, it just <laughs> it was it was nothing. You know, and it wasn't very automated. Just slip it in the coil, slip it out of the coil, um, and uh, uh, so I thought, gee, is that something I could do? I I mean, it's interesting, uh, you know, uh, God has blessed me with a good mechanical ability so I could make something like that. One day I went to my boss and I told him, I says, Don, uh, about, uh, I, I've thought about going into business for myself and it looks like that's something I'd like to do, but it might take six months before that will happen. And uh, he says, okay. Two weeks later, he came to me on a Friday afternoon and said, uh, Bob, today's going to be your last day. You know, I just can't explain it, how God gives you peace. I mean, I really, I felt that that was something he could do and we could do and didn't know how, but um, he just saw a need there and yeah. he thought he could do it. Right. Originally, it was just making fixtures. You were thinking, you know, you could make fixtures, and yeah. then it <clears throat> became more than that. But we prayed a lot about it, and, we and did. Uh, a friend of ours gave us a word to front that he thought was from the Lord uh, for us to consider, and uh, that was that was really what moved me to make the mm -hmm. decision. I think. I think that was a confirmation right. that, you know, he had that opportunity and he was going to take it. Right. So, you know, when we didn't have money, um, I remember uh, at one point the Lord just showed me uh, things didn't wear out. We always had enough. And I, that amazed me that you've mm -hmm. always had plenty. Leanne said she remembers him gathering all the kids into the living room and sitting them down and you were one of them and then saying you know this Christmas is going to be a little lean because money's tight you know and uh, Leanne at five years old just thought no Christmas <laughs> I said Leanne we always had Christmas she said I know that now but at five I thought it was over <laughs> but God always provided uh, we bought a little five kilowatt machine from uh, Carl Lee Bush at High Production, and it was in his. It was on his shop floor, and he was having issues with it. And so I said, "Well, I'll take it over for you." And so I bought. I think it was twenty five hundred dollars for the for the piece of equipment, and we took it over. And Dorothy ran the machine while I did some consulting work for Carl. I used to come into work um, when yeah. the kids went to school. Yeah. And uh, I would be able to come home when the bus dropped the kids off. So I would be there. To me, that was important to be home when the kids got home from school. Then eventually, uh, Carl built a, a 5,000 square foot building on his property there. And I leased that from him for, well, I don't know, for five years. It was a five-year lease. Uh, and we were in there and we grew and put in, I don't know, maybe another three or four pieces of equipment, uh, hired some other people to run the machines other than you. Oh, yes. Uh, 
<laughs> Actually, pretty soon. I think after even in the truck, truck dock, yeah, I think you hired someone. Then after five years in the building, the lease was up, and I had to make a decision to do something. Carl always wanted me to come to work for him, but that was not my interest to do that. Um, so uh, we found this building just down the road uh, from uh, High Production at, at our present location, and uh, it just grew from there. We're taking the blank that comes from the customer, and we put it in here and we heat it. We harden just this portion. We do that with uh, electrical coil. This doesn't touch the part, it just surrounds it and causes an electrical field to pass through the steel, which heats it up very rapidly. And then we put it in a quench fixture and we clamp it and cool it. And it just takes a matter of seconds to do that. I wanted to glorify God in all that I do. And I wanted to start with the name, and you know, we, I I thought about that for a long time and uh, prayed about it a lot. And then, I guess, reading the Bible, I I, I see where Zion is the dwelling place of the Lord. Took the hill of the Lord in, in the Old Testament, they speak about that. And uh, I thought, gee, dwelling place of the Lord, that'd be good. The company was small enough then we could all gather at our house and we did, uh, for quite a few years we did picnics at our house uh, in Valley City. And, uh, but we started out with a clam bake. That was our first picnic, I believe, was a clam bake in our backyard. And they were fun. I mean, we used yeah. to have prizes and games and food and... I think the employees enjoyed it yeah. very much. We also had Christmas parties here, and you mm -hmm. still do, where everybody brings something, and you know we celebrate Christmas. We have some employees that have been with us for a lot of years. Uh, one in particular, Robin Kinkelar, she's been with us since she got out of high school. Uh, and so she's been with us 38 years, something like that. This is my family. I thank God for this place. Like when I see Bob and Dorothy, don't make me cry. <laughs> it's just like, um, well, it means a lot to me, you know, with my paycheck. Bunch of wonderful people, family and friends, and I'm um, thankful for Zion Industries. Yes. And a few other employees have also been here a long time. Uh, Udon uh, has been with us. He, he, our church sponsored his family to come from uh, Laosha. Laosha, mm -hmm. and he didn't speak English, and so they taught him English. And then he needed a job, and he came here to work, and he's still working today. Been with us ever since. Yes. What does it mean to you to work here? That mean to me. It's a lot. Me and me is, you know, this this part of our family, you know. Yes. This is part of our family to beginning, you know, to, to grow up again. Yes. Uh -oh. We are thankful yep. that you're with us. Thanks. The, the fire happened in 1996. We were, uh, uh, it happened uh, when one of the employees was taking some parts out of a furnace and uh, with a hoist and dropping him into an oil tank. When he put the load into it, he didn't drop it all the way down and it got it got stuck halfway in. And uh, when you do that, you, you expose the top surface to air and heat and it just flamed up and uh, went up through the whole building. Uh, so we weren't here when it happened and uh, we find, we, rushed right home and well uh, you didn't really at first you didn't know how bad the fire was so I got in my car and came down here I was still at home and it was I, we were not allowed to come down the st street here Grafton Road Grafton Road there was police there and they said you know no one's allowed there and I I said well it's my building and it's on fire. <laughs> so they let me through, but it was a four alarm fire. I mean, it was a major fire. But 
fortunately, everybody got out. It was not a not a problem. The equipment wasn't too damaged, uh, uh, but the roof was pretty well shot. Uh, we had we had a building on the same location which was empty, and fortunately, uh, we were able to get that up and running in in short period of time. Uh, I think in maybe three or four days we had uh, five or six pieces of equipment probably within a week we had all ten pieces of equipment running uh, and so we were able to satisfy all our customers needs and and the employees were just fantastic about it they stayed around cleaned up did all kinds of things that you know they weren't operating machines anymore they were just helping us get the place back in order and uh, they just did a great job and got us up running very quickly we were blessed that it was, um, you know, everybody got out and everything was fine. And I remember uh, not being upset, being at peace. And the Lord spoke to my heart and he said, how would you feel if that was your home? And I wondered, and sure enough, <laughs> we did have a fire in our home. <laughs> And again, the Lord provided the peace. Yeah, He gave us peace. He gave us total peace because you realize things don't matter, but people do. I just know that God's been faithful because we went through so many ups and downs. And, you know, as we share the different businesses in and out, and He's always provided. And so... Uh, and, and myself, too, with uh, working alongside of him in the early years, I learned a lot. I had to do bookkeeping and invoicing and all that other stuff. And uh, I didn't even know I was capable of doing all that. So I had a lot of help, and uh, it, was, it was just great. I think we've, we're blessed by God with uh, family and employees. I guess you know you don't think about those kind of things when when you're starting up a business. You just do it day by day, and as it grows, it grows. And you know you don't. I, I would have never envisioned, I guess, that I had 125 employees or something like that on payroll. I uh, that's that was not in my dreams. Been here 40 years, and, and God has blessed us so richly. Uh, we. Uh, I got to give glory to God for all that has happened. Uh, you know, when I started the business, I wanted to give glory to Him in the name of the business. And uh, everything that happened after that, I give glory to God for. You know, all the moves that were made, the fire, the, the employees that were here. Uh, God has just blessed us so richly that uh, uh, it, it wouldn't have happened if I had not had Him at my side all the time. Right.